That's changing. We're seeing the workforce grow. Yeah. So uh, I, will note, I will note, Rick, I will tell the president that you apologize for not giving him full credit for having this record low unemployment. You say there are mitigating factors and there are there more are people factors. in your mind, mind that want to be working that aren't. Um, let me play you how the president describes this issue uh, of illegal immigration. Last night, when he talks about this caravan that he wants to shine the spotlight on. And we don't have it. OK, but the point is, is he blames Democrats for it. He's blaming Democrats for this. He says Democrats, uh, this is an onslaught brought by the Democrats because they refuse to acknowledge or change the laws. Is that fair in your mind? Well, I think he, he, what he's saying is the Democrats are out there basically calling for open borders, you know, basically calling for people to, to come calling, to they're America. They're not calling for open borders. Well, they are. I mean, I was, on the, I was on Chris Chris's show last night, and, and, you know, I was on with someone who's basically saying well, everybody who comes to the border should have an opportunity to come into America. So, you know, they, they, don't, they won't say open borders because that's a very controversial term. But I, I've never but heard they, a Democrat campaign on open borders. Well, they, they don't say the word open borders, but they say that, you know, we should be compassionate to everybody who wants to come to Compassion mean open borders? That's that's the same. That's do you not the same want? Thing. Do you not want to be compassionate? I want to be compassionate, but we can't we can't be be saying to people, well, come and somewhere or another we'll let you we'll let you enter this country, whether mm. whether you come illegally or not. That's not compassionate to the millions of Americans who are going to be impacted by that flow of, of illegals. The, and, and the point the, the president makes the National Guard. about the Democrats is, let's be honest. I mean, Democratic funders mm. like George Soros are funding these types of caravans uh, for political purposes. So, so uh, well, look. You talk, no, I've never heard a Democrat campaign at open borders. Is, is President Obama deploying the National Guard on the border in, in 2010? Is that open borders? Well, no, I'm not saying that President Obama was arguing for open borders. I'm saying that the it, new Democratic it, it, because Party... It's a canard, that was, because open borders is not a real thing, because no one is calling for open borders. They're, I get, they're calling I get for the, the abolishment of ICE. They're saying that people, who, I mean, listen, just go to the tape from last night. I mean, Christine Quinn was out there saying that we should let everybody who has an economic, who's in economic trouble around the world have mm. the opportunity to come to America. This is, this is that, if that's not open borders, I don't know what it is. Well, well again, there, there are no Democrats running for office campaign. Any open they don't borders. use the term, but they, they make the argument that is an open they, they, borders they, argument. Most of them are calling for increased border security or border security of a certain kind. They vote kind. against the wall and say the president is a is the wall the only way to have border security? Is the wall the only way to have border security? Well, that, certainly it's a very important part of it. I, if you can make the argument that, that uh, you know, what we're seeing here with an increase in, in, uh, in people coming through and an increase in arrest is that we do need more enforcement on the border. But, but and, you, and just the said, but you just told me at the beginning of this that the problem of illegal border crossings is much less than it was 18 years ago. Still not. It, it's look, you're still talking about 300 and some odd thousand mm. people who are arrested and hundreds of thousands more that aren't arrested. That's still a real problem. Senator Rick Santorum, always a pleasure to have Thank you with you. us. And I will reiterate once again, you have always treated me with respect, which I do and appreciate. And I will continue to do so. Thank you. Thank I you, appreciate sir. that.